legends and welcome to Unbeatable You, where we connect, thrive and conquer. I'm your host, Brett Robbo, and I'm super grateful for your valuable time. So let's just dive straight in. Keep thriving and enjoy. Do you ever get busy in life and feel like you need a bit of a reset? Work, stress, increases, work demands increase, which requires a lot of your time and energy. Family commitments require a lot of your time and energy. Maintaining healthy relationships requires a lot of your time and a lot of your energy. And sometimes it can build up and feel all too much. And you feel like you need that bit of a reset. Well, if you feel that way, congratulations, you are human. And one of the most common things that people say to me, and especially the blokes that reach out to work with me initially, one of the most common things that they say is, I'm just feeling like every, it's, it's too much. Like I'm doing well in my business, but there's, I'm lacking energy. I'm lacking motivation. I'm lacking inspiration. I don't really know where to start. I feel like I need a bit of a reset. And that commonality that I keep hearing from people is it's predictable problems from a performance coach's perspective. There's predictable problems, which means there's predictable solutions. So everything that I say here comes without judgment. But like I said, if you're experiencing this, congratulations, you are human. And you'll be happy to know there's predictable solutions to give you that reset. One of the most common things that happens when we are lacking energy, lacking motivation, lacking inspiration is there's a few key areas of our life that we might have neglected or just not nourished enough to maintain that energy, to maintain that motivation, to maintain that inspiration, to maintain those healthy relationships without it all draining our energy. And they can actually start to generate energy for us because as human beings, we don't have energy. We generate energy. And to generate that energy, we need to do certain things to support us. And a few of those key areas when we look at doing resets is one is around our mindset. So you might notice that when you get stressed and when you get busy and you feel like every area of your life is requiring energy and time that you're just struggling to keep up with, you might start to go into more of a pessimistic mindset. You might start to doubt yourself more. You might start to worry more. You might start to lose a bit of trust and belief in yourself or in the processes required to get you to where you want to go. So our mindset starts to be impacted. And when we're in those disempowering mindsets, and they're just a few of them that can come up, When we're in those disempowering mindsets, our stress hormones increase and our helpful and healthy hormones decrease. So just by the way that we're thinking about our situation, about the future, uh, maybe judging ourselves about the past and some mistakes that we've made, whatever it might be, just by the way that we're thinking, we're increasing our stress. Our Our stress hormones increase and our helpful and healthy hormones decrease. And in these periods of time, if I was to monitor your breathing rate and your heart rate variability, I can guarantee you that it would be shallow and erratic most of the time. And your heart rate variability would be very erratic. And what this means from an energy perspective is once again, you are increasing your stress hormones, decreasing your helpful and healthy hormones. Your body has to work harder to give you that little bit more energy as opposed to generating a great amount of energy by doing less work. The power of the breath is unbelievable. When you learn how to breathe effectively and efficiently, it can actually generate energy even amongst the stress and even amongst the chaos. Even when you feel like you need a reset, you can learn how to breathe efficiently to still generate and maintain great amounts of energy. Also, what we know to be true in these moments of pressure and stress and time and energy being uh, not just taken up, but required from us in certain areas is that most of the time, a lot of us will start to neglect our movement or exercise pillars because we think, well, we don't have time. And if we, if you're a human and you don't have time to move, then it means you don't have time for your health, which means you won't have time at the other end. Like that's the reality where humans were designed to move. So movement is medicine. Exercise is essential. We don't need to be blocking out hours every day. Don't worry if you've got a lot on your plate and you think I definitely don't have time for that. Congrats, you're human. A lot of us don't have time for all of that. And often it's not required. So I'm talking to the person who has a lot of work, family, relationship, community commitments, and wondering 
how am I going to fit different things in? The great thing is that you're already moving. So we can look at how can you move a little bit better? How can you optimize your movement patterns to support you and generate energy as opposed to depleting energy? Always thinking about energy up. Other areas that we can look at is, you know, when we need a bit of a reset and we're in these challenging times, maybe your sleep is impacted. Either you're having trouble getting to sleep or when you are asleep, you might wake up multiple times in the night and your mind is going really busy and you're trying to create solutions to problems in the middle of your sleep. And because you're asleep or partly asleep, you can't really do it. And then you start to try and solve all of these problems uh, or you just got a lot of stress going around in your mind in the middle of the night. Sleep is often hugely impacted in these times of busyness and especially when we combine that with those disempowering, pessimistic mindsets and the doubt and the worry and the fear and the judgment that creeps up in those areas. And another piece of the puzzle that tends to be neglected or just not nourished enough in these times of busyness is our nutrition. So I'm not talking about having a strict diet. I'm talking about food is energy. Food is information for our body. Food can support us and generate energy and provide a great level of harmony in our life. Or if we're choosing the wrong foods and choosing them too consistently, the wrong foods, then they can actually drain our energy in the short term and then have a very negative long-term impact on us. So when we talk about nutrition, regardless of what your beliefs are around whether you eat meat or not, or whatever your uh, structure is around your eating patterns, there is some certain things that we can focus on to ensure that we're supporting our gut health and we're supporting our mental health and we're supporting our energy through the foods that we choose, how often we choose them and how we consume them. So understanding that these areas can actually, these, these are the things you're already doing, you're already eating so how can we optimize your eating and drinking? You're already moving. How can we optimize your movement? You're already thinking. How can we optimize your thinking? You're already breathing. How can we optimize your breathing? You're already sleeping. How can we optimize your sleeping? So these key areas of life, when we bring a bit of focus and attention to those and we just make those small changes, this is where we start to see sometimes instantly and some great impact straight away from focusing on these areas. And sometimes it's just those 1% improvements. And when we do those consistently, that's what creates the desired outcome at the other end that we're hoping to get through these resets. We want more energy. We want more motivation. We want more inspiration. We often want more time. And the thing is that when you have more energy and you're in more of the empowering mindsets, you feel like you've got more time because you're not spending as much time caught up in your head and you're also not spending as much time chasing your tail. And sometimes we make mistakes when we're in those disempowering states because we can't think as clearly. We have the doubt. We act from fear as opposed to love and trust and belief. So you'll find that time is gifted to you in different kinds of ways. Nourishing these kind of areas is a great way to create a reset. And a lot of the time, when people reach out, it's, I kind of know what to do, but I couldn't be bothered or it's all too hard or I just need some accountability. I need a good kick up the butt and I need some accountability and support to keep me on track because I might do it for a day or two and then I'll just drop off if I don't have the accountability. And that's why I'm crea I've created and running again the five-day challenges. This one is the five-day MBR, the five-day mind-body reset challenge. And it's run online. And it's supported by me and also a former NRL champion, Anthony Minicello, who you've heard on the podcast a couple of times. He and I will support you in focusing on these areas. This one is for men only for five days. This first one is kicking off. There will be multiple. This first one is kicking off on May the 1st, 2023. So if you're listening to this after that date, don't worry, stay tuned. There will be more. If you're listening to this before that date, jump on quickly and get on, get involved. If you feel like you need a bit of that reset, if you're feeling de-energized, uninspired, lacking motivation, or if you can just see and know that your habits and your choices are kind of heading in the wrong direction, then you want to jump on and sign up for this for, it's only a $49 challenge online. 
and it's supported by Anthony Minicello and I, you receive emails with a PDF and a short video guiding you through it. And then each day we're in a, an online group holding each other accountable and supporting each other to stay in alignment. Some of the results from guys who have done this in the past have been that just a small thing like not drinking during the week and then staying on par with these other pillars has allowed them to see, oh, that's why it was clouding my judgment so much. From that space, they've made different decisions. Some other ones have been that guys have got back on board with their exercise routine, fitted in with their busy lives and realized that's right. That's why I'm lacking energy because we know that movement j- creates energy. And so just implementing those small things, having the accountability and the support, how do we bring in a 15 to 20 minute movement session on a daily basis that supports everything and that we know that we're hitting the right things. So these small uh, results, they might not sound like much, but you do these accumulatively. And the thing that I love the most when guys come in and do a reset is how it makes them feel And how it makes them behave around other people, the ripple effect. Because when we feel energized, when we feel motivated, when we feel inspired, guess how other people feel around us? Whether that's our partners, our children, our contractors, our staff, whoever it might be, community members, other family members, they tend to feel inspired. And when we can create a ripple effect of inspiration around us, it's super, super powerful. But let's make the decision for yourself first. Ask yourself the question, how am I really feeling? How am I really doing? Mentally, physically, emotionally? Do I need a bit of a reset? And if the answer is yes, once again, just remember, congrats, you are human. There is nothing wrong with you. We do these resets to help remind us what's available to us, to help get us back on the rails, to help us feel connected again, to help us achieve what we're trying to achieve without the burnout, without the relationship tension, and without neglecting ourselves in the process. It's really powerful. So if you're keen for the reset, you can jump onto brettrobbo.com, the website, and you'll find it on there. I think the actual link is brettrobbo.com forward slash mind dash body dash reset dash challenge. I really need to change that, but you can also find it in the link tree of my Instagram and reach out if you have any questions about this. If you know anyone else that you feel like, oh, there's a mate of mine, I think they would benefit from it too. If we're both in it together, we'd get more out of it. Get involved. This five-day challenge, these small changes that you can make can really set you up for a great, a massive trajectory shift to help keep you aligned, bring you back into alignment, help you see clearly again. And I'll say it again, it'll help you feel motivated, inspired, and energized whilst you're still achieving well in the work that you're doing. And as always, remember, if not now, then when? If not you, then who? This is your opportunity to live your unbeatable life. There you go. Another empowering episode. And thanks again for tuning in. Make sure you check out the show notes for any extra links or information that we spoke about in this episode. Don't forget you can now catch the Unbeatable You podcast on the YouTube channel, Brett Robbo Coach. If you want info and inspiration straight into your inbox on how to live an unbeatable life, you can sign up to receive weekly insights and actionable steps for optimal performance and thriving in every aspect of your life plus first release offers on Unbeatable You courses and live events. Don't worry, there's no spam, just short, punchy, value-giving emails straight to you. Simply go to brettrobbo.com forward slash community. If you find value in this podcast, don't forget to share it around with your mates and subscribe, rate, and review. It really supports the podcast mission massively. If you want to reach out to me personally, you can connect with me at at Brett Robbo Coach on social media, and that's where you can let me know who you want to hear on the show. Keep thriving, legends, and as always, remember, if not you, then who? If not now, then when? This is your opportunity to live your unbeatable life.